Hello. If you want to install NFCUG Redux 3.0, then follow me. You will have this exe file, so just double click on it. And it will ask you to press yes. Then you'll have this screen, and then you press next. And you press next again, and this time you will select your Need for Speed game folder. For example, I have my Need for Speed underground to here. After that, you will install this. Now mine has already been installed, so I'm gonna skip clicking on install. But what happens after you install it? Well, by clicking on install, you automatically extract all the installation files, or the mod files, and install. So now you can just go ahead and start EXE to play the game with the shaders. But if you want to install, I'm sorry, if you want to start with textures, then you will have to use the text mod, which is here. I'm going to give you that with this setup file. It will automatically extract text mod here. So what you're going to do is choose your speed2.exe or whichever exe that you use to start the game. Then choose these TPFs. So this is the TPF I give you with the installation. But if you want to use another one, which is also indicated with the installation, which is part 2, this is extra. It doesn't have much, but it has some extra pictures and some extra effects. If you want that, you can also start with this and press run. Okay, so the graphics mod is working right now. But let's just say it's not working. If for any reason you don't see this graphics and it appears like this, then that means your reshade isn't working correctly. So what you're gonna do is press home to open up your reshade menu and make sure that you have selected the preset which is supposed to be automatically selected. But if it's not, just go to your game folder and just select this INI. If for any reason it's not working again, then just go to settings and make sure you have selected the correct folder. For example, your shader folder should be inside script. Oops. It should be right here. Here's the shader folder and here's the texture folder. Make sure they're selected just like here we have selected the texture folder. It's supposed to be done automatically, but if it's not, you can just do that. Also, if your reflections and ray tracing not working, just make sure that root reflection is set to zero because we already have a root reflection and it's going to conflict with the effect. That's it.